Good afternoon, family. Welcome back to the Hillside Homestead. And today is number three in our series of the privilege of prayer as we present to God the requests that have been made known, that have been shared. We know that he listens and that he will answer according to his will. The book we are reading from is called Steps to Christ and it is the chapter entitled The Privilege of Prayer. At this time, I will read. Our Heavenly Father awaits to bestow upon us the fullness of his blessing. It is our privilege to drink largely at the fountains of boundless love. What a wonder it is that we pray so little. God is ready and willing to hear the sincere prayer of the humblest of his children. And yet there is much manifest re reluctance on our part to make known our wants to God. What can angels of heaven think of poor, helpless human beings who are subject, subject to temptation when God's heart of infinite love yearns towards them? ready to give them more than they ask or think and yet they pray so little and have so little faith the angels love to bow before god they love to be near him they regard communion with god as their highest joy and yet the children of earth who need so much the help that god only can give seem satisfied to walk without the light of his spirit, the companionship of his presence. The darkness of the evil one encloses those who neglect to pray. The whispered temptations of the enemy entice them to sin. And it is all because they do not make use of the privilege that God has given them in the divine appointment of prayer. Why should the sons and daughters of God be reluctant to pray when prayer is the key in the hand of faith to unlock heaven's storehouse, where treasure the boundless resources of the omnipotence? Without unceasing prayer and diligent watching, we are in danger of going careless and of deviating from the right path. The adversary seeks continually to obstruct the way to the mercy seat that we may not be earnest in supplication and faith and obtain grace and power to resist temptation and again this is coming from the book step to christ the chapter entitled the privilege of prayer and if you would like me to pray for you please check the link below my email address will be there you can tell me your request. I will call your first name if you so desire and present your request before the Lord. At this time, we will have prayer. Our Heavenly Father, we thank you so much for allowing us to talk to you this afternoon. We thank you, dear Lord, for getting us through almost the end of another week. And we just lift up your name because you are worthy to be praised. Today, dear Lord, I lift up Angela and her children, and especially Michael, dear Lord. You know all the circumstances of Michael's life, and I ask, dear Lord, that you may just whisper to him your love and show him, dear Lord, that you want him to be your child. I present to you, dear Lord, Linda, and her request for her family, for their peace of mind, for their health, for their soul salvation. Please, dear Lord, please hear Linda's request and please bless Linda as you bless Angela and as they pray for their families. I pre present to you, dear Lord Maria, for her request for her niece, Susie. Please, dear Lord, hear Maria's prayer. Please hear my prayer. I am no one special, but I am your child and I lift up these requests for it. In your name, I present to you, dear Lord Lillian, and her request for her family, that you may lead them close to you. I pray, dear Lord, that we all may be in your 
number when you call at that last trump so that we can go to heaven together. I present to you, dear Lord, an unspoken request for a wayward daughter. You know, dear Lord, the heart of this mother who yearns for her daughter. But we know, dear Lord, all things are in your hands. But as parents, we cry for our children. We cry for their soul salvation. We cry for their health, dear Lord, and we present them to you. Please, dear Lord, hear this mother's request for her daughter. Please unite them back together again. And if not on this earth, we pray that it will be in heaven. I pray, dear Lord, for all the parents who have requests for their children. I pray for all those who are praying for sickness, dear Lord, in their homes and in the hospitals. I pray for those who have lost jobs because of the rules or regulations of this country. There are so many who are losing their homes, who are out of food. Dear Lord, you know this that's going on. Please help. We cry out to you because we have no one else. Please, dear Lord, help us to be ready for your coming. Please help me, dear Lord, as I intercede for others. Please help my sins to be forgiven. We thank you, dear Lord, that we can call on you in your most holy name and in that wonderful name of Jesus who died for us. Amen. Again, family, if you want your request to be called out before the Lord, please email me. I will be happy to do that for you, and I will be happy to send you this book free, The Steps of Christ. God bless you. Go out and one, make it a wonderful afternoon. Bless somebody else today, and we'll see you next time on the Hillside Homestead.